Before we start this video, I would like to give a massive thank you to Spooky Celluloid and Hush Regillis for inviting me on their podcast, The Open Casket, on Spotify. Go and listen, it's a good laugh, and we just talk about random shit for about an hour. Thanks guys, and on with the video. Believe it or not, there was a time before the luxury of streaming and downloading everything and anything to our consoles, phones and TVs. Just for us to waste hours of the day binge watching a series to say out loud. That was a good show, wasn't it? There was once a time when renting physical movies or borrowing movies off of your friends was the only means of watching movies, which is what I did a lot of back in the day. There was a time where a format existed that nobody seems to remember. It's the one that is really digging in the dirt when it comes to watching movies on the go. Who remembers PSP UMDs? I mean, I am being a little bit harsh. It's not exactly digging through the dirt. I mean, watching Shrek on a GBA cartridge is practically digging through raw sewage, as far as I'm concerned. To understand what I'm talking about and get an idea of where I'm coming from, we need to go back in time. The year is 2004, and I am five years fresh from the testicles. I cannot believe I wrote that. Sony announces the PSP, a portable device that, well, at the time was fucking amazing, as it was a PlayStation and was portable, which meant you didn't have to haul a PS2 or a PS1, a TV and a power supply with you everywhere you went. So you could play a bit of Burnout and a bit of God of War on the go. Along with this new device was its new media format, the aforementioned UMD, which stands for Universal Media Disc. At the time, portable gaming was limited compared to what it is today, as well as trying to watch a movie whilst travelling was next to near impossible, unless you had a portable DVD player. So when this arrived, it must have been pretty impressive. I mean, I certainly remember it being that way at least. When I was young, I had a DS and a PS2, which of course, you know, a DS was pretty inferior to what the PSP could produce and my parents definitely wouldn't let me take a PS2 with me on holidays. Travelling long car journeys during summer holidays were much better when I could sit there with a bit of Blue Harvest on my PSP and not get bored out of my skull. And yes, I watched a fuckload of Family Guy on my PSP. I don't know why, it was just something to do. I'm a different person. And then it was porn. A lot of porn. <laughs> Sorry family. I didn't have many of these growing up, but um, these are the ones that I watched the most and I used to have Saw 2 and Dawn of the Dead, the remake, but um, those survived some crazy long car journeys over, you know, over time and, well really, I don't understand why my parents bought them for me because I think their mentality was that if I didn't have to show them it, then it was alright, you know, if I wanted to watch horror films on my PSP, then it was okay as long as they, they didn't see it. I don't understand their mentality. But um, I thought it was pretty cool at the time. But what wasn't cool was the price of the goddamn things, especially back in 2004. At launch, these were much more expensive compared to regular DVDs. Luckily for me, my parents bought these when they were fairly cheap. A three for two kind of deal as they were slowly on the way out on the retail market. But at the time, nah. You had to purchase an expensive new machine, which at the time would have set you back around £179 with the UMDs, which at launch were roughly £25. Nowadays, that is roughly 400 quid. You could buy an OLED Switch and some games for that, for Christ's sake. It probably wasn't the most affordable or optimal way to watch movies, but it was a better alternative compared to something like this. Sadly, the UMD quickly became obsolete as there was bigger competition as portable DVD players and DVDs themselves were becoming much more affordable. The Vita was better technically, but fundamentally, it was nothing compared to the original Chunky Boy PSP. The PSP lives on as a impressive piece of tech for its time, not just for its ability to play games, but also as a multimedia center. Listen to music, watch movies, etc. Go on the internet, making it quite, you know, a well-rounded console at the end of the day. So the next time you complain about your favourite Netflix show being taken off TV, remember that at one point you had to watch Dawn of the Dead on a PSP with the worst brightness you could find at the time, squinting at it on a resolution of this size. Not fun, is it? Or one of these. Or trying to watch Spongebob and this piece of shit. Oh. 
Nice. So this took longer than expected. I uh, I meant to release this around January, but I was really unhappy with how the the outcome of it was when I looked all the footage back and looked all the recordings back, and it just wasn't doing it for me. So I decided to completely rewrite most of the script and just start again, really. And thank you so much to everyone who's been so patient with me. Um, I know my uploading schedule is a bit all over the place, but we got there in the end. <laughs> but yeah, for now, guys, um, thank you so much for being patient. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it definitely was a bit of a pain in the ass, but hey, it was all good fun in the end. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Have a good day. Cheers.